I'm aware that most of you are probably here only for the swatches and I respect that but might as well leave a like while you are at it. Hey guys, welcome back and I hope you guys are doing great. So today's video is actually another installment for my lipstick series thing. I don't know if I want to make this a series but yeah, it's another one of those new lipstick videos and originally I had these lipsticks planned because I know I've used these lipsticks for a while but today while swatching them, while looking at them, I realized that all of them mostly are pinky brown nudes which personally for me are my favorite type of nudes. I love a pinky brown nude. It's just the easiest thing to wear. So yeah, today's video is 5 lipsticks under 500 kinda i know you guys love these videos so yeah let's just get started with these also if you're new here then the way i do these is show you the swatches and tell a small mini review for you guys just so you can make a decision for yourself as to whether you want to buy these or not so yeah if you don't like that format then this video is not for you but i'm just gonna continue the way i do it so the first shade that i have here for you guys is l18's colourpop matte lipstick in the color nude fix even though the sparrows by the way so this is a peachy brown color with slight pink undertones when i did my l18 video for some reason this looks so whitewashed in it and i did not notice it while i edited the video but now that i look back at it i'm like wow that looks very whitewashed but yeah this will suit fair to medium and medium deep skin it's a good everyday especially if you're starting to get into lipsticks if you want to wear one for college if you want an easy wear color this will be great this does retail for 75 rupees but yeah this is not really a matte i find that it's very much a satin and amongst the ones that i'm gonna talk today i feel like this is the most shine looking it's not shiny by any means but it's still looks a little bit more shiny than the others it does last on me for five to six hours and yeah it's just a very easy affordable lip color so yeah i would definitely recommend this one i've already done a video about all of my l18 lip colors and swatches so if you want that it will be linked around check it out if you want to the next color is it's not actually not a nude. Can you believe it? When I said I'm gonna stop talking about that color, I meant it. So yes, it's not Nykaa's not a nude. It's actually 12M Taupe Thrill. It does say taupe, but I do not find that this color is taupe by any means. Taupe in my hair is slightly more cool toned and slightly more gray scale, I guess. So yeah, not really taupe in my opinion. It's a pinky nude with some brown undertones. It does retail for 199 rupees, at least this small tube. And I've done a whole video about how many swatches you can get out of this video and another video about about how much product does this actually contain and is it kind of worth it that kind of thing i have reviewed these i've swatched another one of these shades in that video so if you want it it will be linked around but just a small review it does last on me for four to six hours you guys know i'm not the biggest fan of the formula it's not a problem for me i just feel like nika has 50 different other formulas that aren't really that different from each other and this is again one of those it does say it's a matte i don't find it's a matte it's definitely a creamy matte but it's definitely better than l18's nude fix also because these are available in minis i feel like it's a good way to sample their product if you want to experience the formula but you also don't want to commit like for me i know for a fact that i'm not planning to pick any more of these colors up unless you know my obsession with naughty nude that's just a I'm not gonna talk about it. It's a good way of sampling the product and seeing if you like it or if you don't like it. And to be honest, at first I was like, it's a very bad deal in terms of product and price quantity. But at the same time, if you see, I really haven't used this lipstick because I have so many other lipsticks. I just don't go through a lipstick that often. So for me, a mini size is something that I appreciate. Same goes for eyeshadows and all. If you have a big makeup collection, I feel like the minis might not be as bad of a deal as you think they are. If you aren't gonna use half of the product, then just don't use use the half of the product so yeah that's why my outlook has kind of changed towards these but yeah it's a pretty color if you want it get it the next lip color is something that is probably the oldest one amongst the one that i'm talking today but it's also a thing that i avoid using it because of how less product it contains so this is the maybelline lip gradation in the color mauve one and this contains 1.2 grams of product for 550 rupees so yes 50 rupees more than what i have in the title of this video but at the same time you can get it on discount so i don't really mind it the concept of this is there was a sponge over here by the way the concept of this is that you make that korean lip trend kind of gradation thing you know what i mean uh they also said in their description of this color that the sponge part is antibacterial and that it won't catch fungus and mold i found that my sponge was actually catching some fungus so i just ripped it apart and yeah i don't care enough about it do you need a sponge to make that korean lip trend i don't think so so yeah anyway let's get to the swatch so this is probably the most brown toned one that i have today 
it's still in the similar category but i find that it's more on the warm tone brown with pink undertone side instead of vice versa so yeah i really do like this color and it's really neutral in terms of if you don't like pinks in your skin if your undertone clashes with it then this will be a great because it still leans towards pink but it's not really pink it will suit fair to medium and medium deep and even further than medium deep in my opinion it's something that will probably suit a lot of skin tones i'll try to link a few instagram posts if i can find them for different skin tones so you can get an idea of how it looks on people who are not my color i will say get it on discount though because 1.2 grams nika one is a different thing but this is like 550 rupees for 1.2 grams of product it just doesn't sit well with me get it but get it on discount is what I'll, i mean also i have a liquid lipstick ahead but this is probably the most matte ones amongst the ones that i've talked up until now does it not transfer it absolutely does but after a while i find that the transferability kind of reduces so i don't have that big of a problem with it i do like this color the question is will i repurchase this if it's not on discount i probably won't and also the fact that i have so many similar colors now that i realized it i don't think this is a necessity in my collection also this is very creamy even though it does set down after a while and does not look as creamy but while applying it it feels like you are using so much product another reason why i get scared because i'm going to finish it now that i think about it i feel like i'm just gonna go through this and keep it away and not bother about it so much it's it's just a lipstick guys it's just a lipstick next coming on to the lip color that is probably going to give this video the most views this is the maybelline creamy matte lipstick in the color nude nuance i will say at the start this color i've seen people say i've done a video about swatching my maybelline lip colors and in that comment section a lot of people have said that the touch of spice color and nude nuance color look different on them than what they do on me and i have seen other people other bloggers say the same thing i am nc44 and i know someone who is nc35 and on her this washes her out i don't know how that is possible but it's probably just the undertones playing with the color it's a pinky brown again i know you're probably tired of listening to the fact and you're probably like do i need all five of these colors you probably don't but i'm just sharing the ones that i have so maybe if you find that i like this color a little bit more than this one then pick that one so that's just my job once again mentioning this does look pinky brown on me will i take responsibility of it looking pinky brown on others no because people have said that this looks different so yeah it has retail for 299 rupees but if you check amazon or mintra often uh, you'll probably find this on discount in conjunction to touch of spice so the set of two maybe lip colors and you'll probably get this one for 150 rupees and touch of spice for 150 rupees if you get them in combo this is very creamy as the name suggests it does last on me decently sometimes it happens out of habit that you just layer it even though you don't need it this is very much one swipe pick pigmentation but i find that sometimes because you have so much product on your lips it creases with your lip lines i feel like people who have used maybelline creamy mattes especially the nude shades probably know what i'm talking about is that a big issue no but it does sometimes happen that i have to blot the extra color not color but the extra product that is on my lips because of how many times it has creased on my lips i don't like that feeling also this transfers a lot which brings me to the point that this is probably the worst one out of all of them and the l18 one to wear underneath mask but the l18 one it's shiny the shiny will go away for this if you accidentally apply too much product you'll probably have to take away some or it will be on your mask for a while which yeah i don't know how i feel about that but yeah last recently is a four dimple probably available a lot for the people who are still not sure i will say swatch it in stores or something but yeah i do really enjoy it i feel like it will suit fair to medium and medium deep skin but you never know i'm not going to take responsibility for anyone if this does not look good don't blame it on me <laughs> the next one is wet and wild cat suit liquid lipstick in the color give me mocha the only liquid lipstick i have in this collection and the only one that does not transfer so if you are looking for something that does not transfer underneath your mask this is probably it this is also the deepest one amongst all the ones i've shown it is also probably the one that will suit every single skin tone again i've seen this look brown on a blogger i'll try to find her lip swatch and link it in the description but for most people i feel like it looks this color that you see right now but for some people it does tend to lean a little bit more brown a little bit more pink but at the same time it looks good on everyone so even if it does not look like what i imagined it to be it's still going to look good in my opinion one con that i found about this particular liquid lipstick or 
a lot of lipsticks but this one in particular is because it dries down entirely if you are a person who talks a lot it will come off from the outer corners of your lips not the feeling that i enjoy because sometimes especially if i'm filming a video and i'm wearing this lip color and i'm talking a lot i will see while editing that there is no lip color in this area and looks it looks so ugly so maybe that's when you want to retouch this lip color or if that's an issue for you you might not want to purchase this one but it's such a universal shade i feel like you'll be fine picking this one up if there is one lip color that i feel like you can surely go ahead and pick and it will not wash you out it's probably this one looks good pretty color affordable oh yeah this retails for 499 rupees but again you'll probably get this on discount for 300 or maybe even 250 rupees get it then get it at a cheaper price don't pay the full price you don't need to also because it's a liquid lipstick it lasts a little bit more longer does it dry down your lips i don't feel like it sucks the moisture out of my lips so that's a great thing but again the corner thing after a while it will start fading out from your corners and you will probably have to retouch this once maybe if you desperately need it to be perfect but if you're not that big of a perfection person then you'll be fine so yeah that was it for today's video these are the five lipsticks that lay on the very similar undertone okay intermission so just to add in a few things that i realized after filming and while editing this video nude nuance and taupe thrill are very similar even if you look on the hand swatches it does look like taupe thrill is a hair lighter and it is but on the lips you honestly can't tell a difference so these are like very much dupes of each other whichever formula you prefer go for that one i honestly think taupe thrill will be a little bit more flattering than nude nuance because i have heard nude nuance looks different but that's not the case with taupe thrill i feel at least i haven't heard anything and the second comparison will be because i know people will want this it is between nude fix and the other two colors nude fix is honestly lighter and slightly more on the peachy tone i don't think these are similar it's just a lighter version of the other two colors so i don't consider them dupes but in case you have the other two colors then you can imagine and compare how nude fix will look on you in case you're planning to buy that one and here's a post of all the colors that has watched in this video side by side just for you guys to have a proper comparison all in one photo i hope this helps and if there are still any queries leave it in the comment section down below i will answer them do i feel like i personally need all five of these now that i've swatched it and i have swatched it side by side i don't think so but uh yeah i don't mind having them because it's one of my favorite tones to wear on my lips and i'm very much happy will i be purchasing any more pinky nude lip colors probably not so yeah take it however you want to i hope you guys enjoyed please like comment and subscribe it all means a lot i'm very close to my goal as i've been mentioning in my past videos so please subscribe please support it will mean a lot to me and yeah that is it if you have any queries comment section anything else no so yeah that's a wrap for this video i will see you in the next one bye